Next item on the special orders is General Orders 26, House File 3157. Senator Eichhorn. Thank you, Mr. President. In front of us is House File 3157, which is Senate File 2646. Uh, I would like to take an opportunity to thank my co-sponsors, Dietzik, Limmer, and especially uh, Senators Utke and Rest, who worked very diligent with me on this. The three of us were very passionate about this bill and did a lot of work with the advocates on this bill to get it in, in a good order that everybody could agree to. This bill contains two provisions. Uh, in the first section of the bill, it would provide immunity to owners of real property for any injury or damage caused by an assistance animal if the owner believes in good faith that the animal is an assistance animal or the individual is using the assistance animal and represents it as such. Uh, and part two of that, uh, if the injury or damage is not caused by negligence of the property owner. Under section two, it would create uh, a new penalty for a person intentionally misrepresenting their service animal. Uh, the first would be a petty misdemeanor for the first offense, and the second would be a second offense and on would be a misdemeanor. And that applies to places of public accommodation that are given authority, oh, excuse me, that's, that's for places of public accommodation. Um, the Council on Disability would be tasked to uh, prepare a brochure detailing permissible questions for property owners and business owners that they may ask uh, to determine whether or not a service animal is a proper service animal and also proper answers for those questions. Uh, so that, or that uh, education piece is also going to be important and to have the Council on Disability involved on that. So on the overall arching issue, we've probably heard, you know, stories that many of us may laugh at. You may have heard somebody bring in their emotional support peacock on an airplane or kangaroo into a McDonald's or whatever it may be, or a young child maybe getting bitten in a McDonald's or on an airplane by a dog, and all that stuff is very sad. But unfortunately, what it does is it affects people in our disability community that really have real needs for real service animals. Uh, fake service animals pose significant safety risks to legitimate service animals, customers, and businesses. For example, if a fake service animal bites a legitimate service animal, that service animal could be rendered unusable, and people spend tens of thousands of dollars in order to get these service animals. Uh, lack of training by fake service animals to handle challenging public space environments. Um, it creates food safety risks for other Minnesota consumers. And again, most importantly, people faking their service animals hurts the reputation and acceptance of valid service animals and people with disabilities who truly rely on these animals to assist them. It also diminishes individuals uh, who live with disabilities by misrepresenting themselves in the same light to discredit the legitimacy uh, and independence that a service animal provides. Uh, we have a lot of support for this from several organizations, uh, from grocers associations, restaurant associations, campground associations, retailer associations, uh, but most importantly from uh, disability communities and people who actually train service animals. So we think this is a really good bill. Again, I, I really appreciate the work that was done on this by Senator Utke and Senator Rest with me. And uh, with that, I'm going to close up my comments, but I believe Senator Rest would like to make the second comments, if that's okay, Mr. Chair. Sure. Senator Rest. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I uh, want to join uh, Senator Eichhorn and Senator Utke in particular in their uh, work on this bill and, um, and also um, with our colleagues in the House. And I uh, recommend it highly. I think it is going to be a deterrent for people who uh, take their pets places that are inappropriate. Uh, not only will they be inappropriate, they, they, it will now be uh, clearly illegal. Um, and I, um, I hope that you will join me in voting for the bill. Mr. President, I have the uh, A1 amendment. The Secretary will report the amendment. Senator Ress moves to amend House File 3157 as amended pursuant to Rule 45 adopted by the Senate March 29, 2016, as follows, page 2, line 11. This is the A-1 amendment. To the A-1 amendment, Senator Rest. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, what uh, the A-1 amendment does is to eliminate or delete the phrase uh, service dogs in training, service animals in training, um, as also um, 
an attempt by some to represent their dogs as part of a training program. And we decided that we wanted to be crystal clear that that was not going to be the case, and so we are uh, deleting that phrase in two places uh, in uh, the, um, in sections, uh, in sections two and three. Appreciate your support. Senator Eichhorn. Eichhorn. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Senator Rest and I did have an opportunity to talk about this amendment beforehand and speak with the advocates of the bill to make sure they were okay with it. Uh, we believe that this change will close a potential loophole that would allow uh, somebody to still take their fake service animal into a facility. So I believe this is a very good amendment and I would accept it as a friendly amendment, Mr. President. Any further discussion of the A1 amendment? Seeing none, all those in favor of the A1 amendment signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, motion carries. Further discussion to House File 3157 as amended. Senator Westrom. Mr. Chair, uh, members, I rise in support of this uh, bill. And members, I just use this as an opportunity to uh, call down those that want to use a service animal or an imposter and a fraudulent. Uh, use of a service animal to try to uh, cheapen the need for those that really do have service animals that do a legitimate function and purpose for a person with a disability. Last year we had a bill uh, Senator Ralph carried. Uh, we passed it through the Senate to uh, stop the drive-by lawsuits that were occurring to our small businesses and businesses across the state. Uh, that really gives the disability a movement and the need and the interest for so many to try to have accommodations, try to uh, integrate uh, the, ab the, the ability of, uh, of businesses and uh, just the walk of life, any person with a disability to be able to uh, function as much as possible uh, in a uh, average, uh, typical way for access, for uh, uh, getting around, for shopping. and, and so we need to uh, be vigilant and condemning and uh, calling down those that try to use fraudulent uh, Im Im imposture type measures to, uh, to cheapen the, the rules that we put in place for reasonable accommodations and for service animals so people with disabilities uh, truly can live more independently, function better, work better, raise their families better, and so uh, this bill I see as a, a call out and a way to, uh, to uh, verify, validate, and affirm that we want to help people with disabilities be able to have access and service uh, animals that, that provide a function for them legitimately. But when we have imposters out there uh, sneaking in and using an, a an animal and calling it a service animal, you create doubt and skepticism by many in the public. And that does not do anything to help advance the ability for those with disabilities to be able to uh, live a mainstreamed life. And so uh, that's why I, get, I stand up and support this bill and uh, ask us to continue being vigilant, but continue what we can to help those with disabilities be able to live a normal, accessible life, but call out those that are trying to uh, uh, cheapen the system and uh, make it harder for those with disabilities to get access and to have disability laws uh, changed so they can live more independently. Because when you see imposters like this come along, cases that we hear about, uh, it, it really gives a black eye to uh, uh, to the whole community, and that isn't what the people that are fighting for disability rights want. Uh, they just want fair, reasonable accommodations, but they aren't trying to pull something over on a grocer or a business that, that others maybe are. And so uh, we need to walk that line here, but this bill tries to do that, but it tries to legitimize those that do use service animals, and that's what we're standing up for today. Further discussion is House File 3157 as amended. 
Seeing none, the secretary will give House File 3157 as amended its third reading. House File Number 3157, a bill for an act relating to public safety, establishing a crime for misrepresenting an animal as a service animal. Third reading. Seeing no further discussion, the secretary will take a roll on Senate or House File 3157. All senators voting, having voted, the secretary will close the roll. There being 67 ayes and no nays, the bill does pass and is title agreed to.